So welcome to Global Virtual School. This is your first year chemistry class. I am Dr. Ajal Banu. Students, we are starting second chapter of first year chemistry. And the topic for today's discussion from this chapter is discharge tube experiment. Students, after completing the discharge tube and discharge tube experiment, you will be able to understand the parts or you can say the construction of discharge tube and the experiments which were conducted in the discharge tube. Before going into detail, I will just remind you about the atoms, electron, proton and neutron. Electrons just surround the nucleus and nucleus consists of protons and neutrons. Students, uh, what is the history of atomic structure? Atomic structure, uh, first of all, the Dalton gave the concept about the atomic structure that atoms consist of very a simple parts of the elements that called electron, proton and neutron. Electron surround the nucleus and electron, protons and neutron they reside in the nucleus. While when discoveries start in the late part of the 19th century, it comes to know that atom actually is a complex system that consists of more than 100 particles including electron, proton, neutron and others are like neutrino, antineutrino, positron, muons, pions, etc. Out of them, electron, proton and neutron, they are fundamental particles and you can say these are the elementary particles. An atom cannot be described without electron, proton and neutron. And all of the atoms that are discovered up till now, they consist of electron, proton and neutron except Protium, hydrogen. This is the isotope of hydrogen. It hydrogen. It consists of only one proton and one electron. While all other atoms, all of the atoms, they consist of electron, proton, and neutron. Students, uh, now I will tell you about the discharge tube. Its parts, like its construction. It consists of five to six parts. Number one, this one is the glass tube. This is a simple glass tube. Then there are two electrodes. They are made of metals. Electrode cathode and anode. When cathode, when one electron is attached to the high voltage battery. Battery it has positive terminal and negative terminal so when electrode is attached to the negative terminal of the battery then this is called the cathode when electrode is attached to the positive terminal of the battery then this is given the name anode other parts is a vacuum pump vacuum pump is used to adjust the pressure inside the tube and inside the tube there is gas it this gas can be like hydrogen helium neon chlorine oxygen and even it can be a mixture of gases like ox, uh, like air so any type of the gas can be used inside the discharge tube so its parts are glass tube vacuum pump high voltage battery and two electrodes now we will look which experiments were conducted in this discharge tube first experiment in the first experiment the electric current was passed at ordinary pressure like one atmosphere one torr and that time the voltage was applied by like 5000 volts what was the result there was no result no conduction of electricity discharge tube was like as it is there was no seen any reaction any type of the change inside the discharge tube there was nothing there was no conduction, electricity was not passed through the, uh, this gas. So in the second experiment, they did the, uh, reduce the pressure by discharging the gas from, with the help of vacuum pump. And the pressure was reduced up to 0 0.1 torr. And now electric current was passed at this reduced pressure, 0 0.1 torr. And the voltage was supplied 5000 to 10,000 volts. What happens at this stage? Now the gas was conductor. 
the gas becomes conductor electricity becomes pass so current just start to flow and as a result there was a glow inside the tube it emit light just like neon signs and like tube lights and there was a glow throughout the discharge tube neon signs like used uh, in brands name and their uh, uh, their pictures like this one like this these neon signs are just there is a uh, gas inside is at reduced pressure when electricity is provided they glow in different colors and these colors depends upon the gas you have used inside these tubes while in the third experiment uh, the pressure was further reduced by removing the gas from the dis, uh, from the tube this time pressure was reduced up to 0.01 torr and now the current at 5000 to 10000 volt was passed and what happens at this stage the original glow was just disappeared like there was no glow throughout the tube but there seems to be uh, arise some rays from the cathode and they start travel towards the anode and at the anode side there was just like a glow on the anode side opposite to the cathode side it will be more clear uh, just look at this picture these are batteries uh, this is the glass tube two cathode anodes and vacuum pump and there was just a strange glow at low pressure 0.01 torr and 5000 to 10000 voltage and this glow uh, this was given the name cathode rays light and uh, you will be even more clear by looking at this experiment notch tube is generally referred to as the cathode ray tube the cathode ray tube is a partially evacuated glass tube with cathode and anode placed at the ends of the tube a vacuum pump is used to partially evacuate the tube the cathode is connected to the power source with the help of a clip the tube is supported on a stand it was found that electric discharge through gases took place only when the pressure inside the tube is lowered and so students the rays which originate at low pressure 0.01 torr and high voltage 5000 to 10000 volts from cathode were given the name cathode rays so here is the question for you why the current do not pass at high pressure or you can say at normal atmospheric pressure think about it so now we will see uh, which scientist performed the discharge tube experiments jj thompson in 1887 he identified the cathode rays in the discharge tube this is the great scientist jj thompson after jj thompson further study and further experiments in discharge tube were conducted by faraday and crookes that leads to the discovery of the finally uh, by jj thompson the discovery of the cathode rays and you can say later these were given the name electrons we will discuss in the properties of the cathode rays and the finally the george stoney in 1891 gave the name electrons to the to the these cathode rays george stoney gave the name electrons this was all about the construction of discharge tube and the experiments and their conditions in the discharge tube and our next topic will be the continuity of the discharge tube and in that we will discuss the properties of the cathode rays which will lead to the discovery of the electron. 